All right, guys, so here's your lesson on parabolas day one. So the official definition of a parabola, which we kind of talked about in chapter six, um, is the parabola is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a given point, the focus, and a given line, the directrix. So graphically, we have two versions of parabolas. We have parabolas that open up and down, and we also have sideways parabolas, which we didn't really talk about in chapter six. Um, but your focus is this point over here, and in the sideways parabola, there's your focus. Your focus is always inside your parabola. Your directrix is this line that's on the outside of your parabola. Now what this definition is saying is that this parabola, this curve, is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a given point, the focus, and the directrix. So if I have any point on this parabola, the distance from the focus to the directrix should be equal to each other. Now it's these two lines are obviously not equal to each other and that's just because my image for both of these are not 100% accurate but similarly if I had this point the distance from my focus should equal the distance from my directrix. Now for today's lesson you're mostly focusing on um, the equations for the parabola, so we have two equations. So if your parabola opens up and down, we have this equation. If your parabola, we have this equation. Now both of these equations look like the vertex form that we discussed uh, in chapter six. Um, so you can get the vertex and the axis of symmetry just by looking at the equation. Um, so your vertex in both scenarios is hk. Uh, for your parabolas that open up and down with the y equals, your h is on the inside, k is on the outside. Um, you have to be careful with your x equals because your h is on the outside with the k being on the inside. Your axis of symmetry, so we have the vertex hk. Your axis of symmetry is the vertical dashed line that goes through your vertex. So in this case, your axis of symmetry is right here with that being your vertex. In this case, here's your vertex and your axis of symmetry is a horizontal dashed line through your vertex. Um, so for our parabolas that open up and down, your axis of symmetry is vertical. So we have x equals h as our axis of symmetry. For parabolas that open sideways, um, your axis of symmetry is going to be a horizontal line, so it's going to be the line y equals k. To figure out the direction of the opening, if your a is positive, your parabola is going to open up. If it's negative, it's going to open down. If your a is positive with the x equals equation, your parabola is opening to the right, and then your parabola is opening to the left if a is negative. Now today we're focusing on the equations, so most of your equations are not going to be in this standard form over here, so we're going to get it into standard form, and from there we can extract information like the vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the direction. Now for this lesson, you've actually already seen it before with chapter six, changing the vertex form, so hopefully it's a review. Um, so we want to change this to the form y equals a x minus h quantity squared plus k, or x equals a y minus k quantity squared plus h. So we need to have this perfect square in there. So the way that we do that is by completing the square. Completing the square is where you insert the blanks. So I have y x squared plus 6x plus a blank minus 3. Now for this I'm going to subtract a blank because we want my equation to stay balanced. So if I add something I also need to subtract it otherwise we're changing the original equation. Um, to figure out what goes in the blanks you're taking half of this middle term and squaring it. So half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9. And then this quadratic is a perfect square trinomial, so we can go ahead and factor it. And that gives us x plus 3 quantity squared. Shortcut for this, take half of your middle term, that goes with that's, that is what goes in the parentheses with x. And then on the outside we have minus 12. So this is our equation in standard form. Now once we have it in standard form, we can identify the vertex, which is going to be negative 3 comma negative 12. So if you ever take a number from inside the parentheses, you're always going to use the opposite. The axis of symmetry is going to be x equals negative 3, so it's going to be the x-coordinated vertex, 
and then my direction in front of my parentheses is a 1. It's positive, so this one's going to be opening up. I'm going to go ahead and skip B because it's the same thing as A. I recommend that you try this one on your own. Um, for letter C, since we have the x equals, the process is actually still exactly the same because your equations look very, very similar to each other. It's just going to be different when we extract these three pieces of information. So again, I'm going to start by inserting my blanks. So plus a blank, plus 55, minus a blank. Now I'm going to take half of negative 12 and square it, and that gives me 36. And then this quadratic, I can go ahead and factor. So that's going to be y minus 6 quantity squared plus 19. Simplifying this over here. So that is in vertex form, or standard form, I should say. From there, we can extract our vertex. Now, you have to be careful with the x equals. So since your x is on the outside, your x coordinate is on the outside. And then my y is on the inside, so my y coordinate I get from inside the parentheses. But don't forget, if you take a number from inside, you need to do the opposite. So your vertex for that is going to be 19, 6. Axis of symmetry. You can always tell your axis of symmetry the variable by looking inside the parentheses. So that's going to be y equals, and then the y coordinate of my vertex is 6. And then my direction, number in front of my parentheses is positive. We have x equals, so that means it's sideways. So this is going to be opening to the right. All right. Um, you should try this one on your own. And you should try the practice problems on your own, too, just to make sure you got it. Um, sometimes they're not going to be nice equations without numbers in front of your x squares and your y squares. Um, so we're still going to do the same thing that's just a little different in the process. So before I insert my blanks, I need to actually factor out the number in front of my x squared or my y squared from these two terms, only these two terms, not from all three, and just the number. So I'm taking out a negative 1. So I'm left with x squared plus 8x, and then I can go ahead and insert my blank. Plus 4 minus, now whatever number you put in front of your blank over here, we also need to put that in front of this blank over there. So it's going to be minus negative 1 times your blank. Because what we're really doing over here is we're not just subtracting this blank. It's this blank times negative 1, which is why I insert that number in front. So I'm going to take half of this middle term and square it, which gives me 16. And then I can go ahead and continue to um, simplify. So I have y equals negative 1 times x plus 4, quantity squared. And now I have plus 4 uh, minus negative 1 times 16, so that's going to be plus 16. So my equation in standard form is y equals negative 1 times x plus 4 quantity squared plus 20. Now my vertex is negative 4, 20. My axis of symmetry, since I have x in the parentheses, is going to be x equals, and it's going to be the x-coordinate of my vertex. And then my direction well, since this is negative down, all right, let's do this one. So for letter B, I'm going to factor out the negative 2 only from the first two terms. So I'm going to have x equals negative 2 times y squared minus 6y, because negative 2 times negative 6 is a positive 12, plus a blank minus 1, minus negative 2 times my blank. So once again, whatever you put in front of that parenthesis is also going to be in front of your other blank. Because you're not just adding this, you're taking whatever's in this blank times negative 2. And then that's what you're subtracting. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the square, take half of negative 6, which is uh, negative 3 and square it. So it gives me 9 and 9. And then from here I can go ahead and simplify. So that's negative 2 times 
y minus 3 quantity squared minus 1 plus, since we're subtracting a negative, 2 times 9, which is 18, and then simplify it further. And then this is your equation in standard form. We can figure out the vertex. You gotta be careful though, because this was an x equal, so your x coordinate comes from the outside. Y coordinates on the inside. So your vertex is going to be 17, 3. Always be careful with the number inside the parentheses. You always want to do the opposite. And my axis of symmetry, I had y inside my parentheses, so it's going to be y equals 3. And my direction, since this was negative and it's x equals, it means it's sideways, so negative means it's going to the left. So your parabola will be opening towards the left. You can do C and D on your own if you want the extra practice. Um, you can also do the practice problems for extra practice. Um, so as I said today, you are only focusing on the equations and extracting these three pieces of information. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at how we can take these equations and actually create the graphs of the parabolas. All right, see you in class.